Hi, this is Brent, back with some more tips for practical ways that we can start adding uh, healthy changes into our lifestyle. As you know, on my YouTube channel, I am focusing on the practical ways we can uh, take the information that a lot of people give us about what's healthy and add it into our daily lives. So today I'm talking about the spice turmeric. Here is a bottle of the uh, ground and dried spice. And I'm going to talk about three main ways that we can uh, incorporate turmeric into our daily lives. The first way is from adding to food. And this is using it as a traditional spice. Um, when used in small quantities, turmeric doesn't add a whole lot to the flavor of a dish, especially once you start using it more and more in your diet. So it can be added to almost any of your main dishes, just a small amount, especially toward the end of cooking. And I also put it into my morning smoothie, just a small amount. The second way is through making teas. So I live in a really cold part of the country, especially this time of year, and I make a lot of teas. And there are there's an easy way and a longer way to make turmeric tea. The easiest way is to take your mug and fill it with hot water, boiling water, and then add in maybe a half teaspoon, teaspoon of the powder. Uh, in addition, you'll want to add in some ground black pepper because ground pepper is supposed to help with the absorption of uh, turmeric and the active components of turmeric. Now, a note about what kind of turmeric to buy. I get my ground powder from Whole Foods because it's certified organic. That's the only reason. Well, also, you can get it in as, a, as a bulk spice, meaning they have a big container of the powder and you just take a plastic baggie and fill it up with some of the spice and it usually ends up being cheaper than if you continue to buy it in a jar. So a baggie about this full uh, with spice would be about two or three dollars. You can see I've already used a lot of my spice. And uh, the other way that you can buy turmeric is fresh. So I have here a plate of Ooh, different roots. This is ginger, this is galangal root, and you can see uh, turmeric has a much smaller root. And uh, if you're going to make tea, turmeric tea, and you can have a little more time, then I like to use the fresh spice. The way to do this is to take a small saucepan, start some water boiling, and keep it boiling or simmering while you include some thinly sliced turmeric root to help increase the surface area of the root that's exposed to the water. That's why you slice it. And also um, you can add in black peppercorns instead of the ground up spice. That'll make it easier to filter out once you're um, finished boiling your tea. And you can boil it for, or simmer it for about 10 to 15 minutes, and that should um, get the benefits of the turmeric into the tea. Now, word of caution, I don't have any scientific evidence to show what, um, what way turmeric is best absorbed. I don't know if how long you have to boil it for. I don't know if the fresh root or the ground gives you more of the health benefits. Uh, and if anyone has information on that, I would love to know. Okay, so that's two ways we can incorporate turmeric into our diet. The last one has to do with um, supplementation. So, the active component that's really hot right now of turmeric is curcumin, which is supposed to have antioxidant properties. So you can find pills at the store that are curcumin supplements and I don't have a lot of experience with uh, those supplements uh, personally. But as a cheaper alternative, what I do 
is take some of my turmeric powder from Whole Foods and I buy some uh, what are called single zero vegetable capsules and just fill them up with the powder. These size capsules should hold about 400-500 milligrams of turmeric. So then I can take one of these pills once a day with one of my meals and from uh, using turmeric in my food, from my teas, fresh turmeric as well as ground, and um, taking the supplements, which takes hardly any time at all once you've made the, the tablets or the capsules, then uh, through these three ways I've added a lot of this spice to my diet and hopefully I'm gaining the benefits that uh, the spice has. So I hope you enjoyed this video with some practical tips and I'll catch you for the next one.